Nothing in our life happens without a reason. Especially if you are a nomad, whose life is subject to the stringent laws of the steppe. Kazakh people are used to a free and independent lifestyle, relying on themselves only and also on their strength. And this is what our ancestors believed in, the Jetikazina, or seven irreplaceable valuables. Help them in this. A smart and beautiful wife who keeps the hearth, a fleet-footed horse, a hunting eagle, a faithful dog, a traveling cauldron, a good gun, knowledge, and experience. This cultural heritage has been embodied in the national traditions and rituals that have survived to this day. Jeti Kazina, Seven Irreplaceable Valuables The Golden Eagle The once familiar attributes of the nomadic lifestyle have now become exotic. Many customs are already in the past, and soon they can completely disappear, remaining only in the pages of history. Our program is devoted to hunting with a golden eagle. Will we be able to find the answer to one of the very important questions? Will this ancient Kazakh tradition be preserved? Or will it be slowly forgotten? An eagle soars in the blue skies. It majestically flies around the peaks of cold rocks in the endless steppes. With his sharp eyes, he sees all the beauty of the Kazakh land. Silver rivers running in the valleys, emerald lakes and blooming fields. He sees the snow caps of the mountains sparkle in the sun, and the free wind ruffling the grass of the steppe. A man throwing back his head, fascinated by the endlessness of the sky, looks at the royal bird. For a long time, he cannot take his eyes off of it. The man and his golden eagle have lived side by side for centuries, accepting and respecting each other. The cities are expanding and taking people away from the earth, subjecting everyone to their intense rhythm of daily life. Who would be waiting today to exchange their apartment for a soft felt of a yurt, or their car for a frisky stallion, or work in a boundless harsh step instead of a comfortable office? Has hunting with birds of prey become just a tourist lure for foreigners, and are golden eagles becoming more of a brand? A symbol for t-shirts and souvenirs? In order to understand whether this is true, we will push off from the most important thing. We will be coming for what is most important and go to the places where people are still engaged in hunting and trapping. Anyone who has ever seen a golden eagle feels an incredible desire to get to know these amazing birds. Nature has made it an excellent predator. The golden eagle has extremely keen eyesight and incredible speed. How can any other bird compare with it? The eagle is a sole lord of the sky, and it was praised by many famous Kazakh thinkers. 
These are the words of the great Abai about this topic. A horseman with his golden eagle is riding in the early snow. If he is keen, he will see a fox in the mountains. All his soul needs is comfortable attire, a fair horse and a friend who knows no fear, and a fox's careful backtrack. Discovered by a miracle in the mountain bushes, you do no harm if you come to hunt here. Nothing is dearer to me in this world. I could hear about hunting forever. Who knows most about birds of prey? Birkutchi. These are the people who have dedicated their lives to hunting with them. Hunters with birds of prey are called Sayatshi, while those specializing in golden eagles are called Berkutshi. We met with Aldabirgen Zainaluli, and he told us that he is a hereditary Berkutshi. He now has four golden eagles, and each bird has its own disposition. The oldest golden eagle is more than 10 years old. The bird is very calm and docile, but in a hunt, few compare to it in strength and dexterity. We had a long talk with Aldebergen about the birds of prey and about his life. He inherited all of his knowledge and skills from his father, and now he passes them on to his son, and he in turn will then pass it on to his grandson. So the centuries-old relationship has not been interrupted from generation to generation in this family. Seeing our keen interest in hunting with birds of prey, Aldebergen decided to show us a unique museum, the only one in Kazakhstan. On the way, we stopped to visit a respected Aksakal, who has been training golden eagles for more than 30 years. We learned from him that the age of a bird is counted until 10 years, where every year it is given a unique name, Balapan, Tirnek, Taslik, Kumtulik, Sumtulik, Jemtulik, Ana, Kana, Sana, and Dana. After the age of 10, from 11, 12, and up to 30, they are called Tulik. The Kazakhs do not identify the age of the bird after that. The hunter should be able to assess many characteristics of the golden eagle. The color of the feathers, the shape of the body, the state of the beak, feet, claws, and the sharpness of the eyes as well as the speed of its reactions. The Oxacol hunted with one golden eagle for almost 10 years and then released it. The museum we were in was a special one and also very unique. It was nothing like the others. All exhibits were carefully selected and extremely interesting, and they were all about the national hunt with birds of prey. There are a lot of trophies in the collection made of skins of wolves, foxes and lynxes that had been caught. There are also weapons and rare antique equipping, stands and mittens of famous Birkutshi hunters. There are pictures with hunting scenes and documentary photographs that have been collected here. The director and founder of the museum, Muhammad Isabekov, collected all of these exhibits together with his friends. The Aksakals walked around the room for a long time showing and telling us all about the items displayed. Looking at the photos, they recalled amazing stories, like when a hunter with a golden eagle saved a whole village from starvation. It happened in the time of the steppe moraine and during the Great Patriotic War, when many lives were saved thanks to this hunting. After all, unlike other birds of prey, the golden eagles can bring not only hares, partridges and foxes in its strong claws, but also large animals such as mountain goats and roe deer. In ancient times, a good bird and a fast horse were very expensive. Hunting with a golden eagle is not easy. It takes great effort to even be able to hold such a bird on your arm. 
In addition, a true bird kutshi must be very brave. Before taming the golden eagle, the owner often suffers his attacks. A bird of prey can seriously injure a human. Young golden eagles, as soon as they begin to fly, are first trained to sit on the hunter's arm, and they respond to the call of the owner. Birkutshis say that training an eagle is very difficult because they do not understand punishment and they can only be trained using treats. They are very proud. You shout once and the bird will remember it for a long time. Relationships between birds and humans are special. They are built on the basis of equality. The owner does not consider the eagle to be his property. Therefore, in 10 to 12 years of joint hunting, the Birkutshi always releases the bird. Then everyone will have their own way. As we understand so far, there are people who have engaged their entire lives with golden eagles. But are these people many in number? And will they be able to pass on their knowledge and experience to the next generation? We ask the Oxicals our main question. Will the art of hunting still be there in the future, and will the young people be interested in it? Yes, of course, Aldebergen answered. My son became a Birkutshi, and now my grandson shows great interest. And when he's a little older, we will actively train him. We were incredibly lucky that at this very time, as we were visiting Aldebergen, there was supposed to be a Birkutshi competition held in Almaty, where he would participate with his son. We are very lucky, because it is at a large city competitions that we can also meet our professional hunters. This will help us come closer to answering our key question, the fate of the national hunting with birds of prey. Before leaving, Aldebergen decided to test his eagles to see how well they are prepared for the upcoming competitions. To do this, he was going to go to the steppe with them. Aldebergen has been engaged with golden eagles all of his life and says that taming a golden eagle is a difficult task that takes incredible patience. A bird of prey does not forgive rudeness and cruelty. The hunter must love his bird and talk to it. The relationship between the golden eagle and a person can only be built on mutual trust and respect. When there is no leather hat on the head of the golden eagle called the rufter hood, the bird's big expressive eyes are what strikes you right away. The real eagle eye, straight, decisive, and fearless. The notorious frowning of the bird also has a good reason. The eyebrows protect it from bright light and dust. The bird's beak is powerful, curved downwards. Impressive eagle's legs are dressed in feathers like pants. His claws are big and hooked, as if forged from durable steel. It is impossible to break out of such claws once they're closed, because the golden eagle has strength in one finger of almost 80 kilograms. And finally, the wings. When the eagle spreads them, one can see the strong wing feathers, which serve for soaring in the warm air and for flapping fights. This bird conquers at first sight. The golden eagles rarely fail to catch a prey. The bird has extremely sharp eyes and incredible speed. When hunting, he can see a hare at a distance of 2 kilometers and chase it at a speed of more than 300 kilometers per hour. During a hunting season, which begins in February and lasts until the beginning of summer, an experienced Birkutshi and a bird can catch more than 50 foxes, several lynxes and wolves. Early in the morning, Aldebergen and his son, taking the golden eagle and everything necessary for training, saddled their horses and left the village. 
All Birkutshis are excellent horse riders, as they can live in the mountains for months. Golden Eagles are a heavy bird, weighing about 3.5 kilograms, so Aldebergen put his hand on a special crossbar attached to his saddle. A special sleeve made of thick horsehide is put on the hand and glove over it, so that the long, sharp claws of the golden eagle could not damage the hand of the owner. The bird should not be distracted by the road, so they put a hood on their eyes, and the legs are also strapped down. The golden eagle almost constantly makes screaming sounds that are well heard at great distances. How can you make a bird obey a man? And what prevents the bird from flying away while hunting? From a conversation with Aldebergen, we learned that each Birkutshi walks a hard road when training his bird. Even in childhood, the boys begin to learn this skill when they are children. And before they become a real Birkutshi, they must first tame the falcon, and then master the wisdom of managing a larger bird of prey. Taming an eagle only begins under the guidance of an experienced mentor. It is primarily young, already flying birds that are tamed. The slightest error, and the eagle could just fly away for good. But when properly handled, the bird becomes strongly attached to its owner, and considers him to be its equal partner. It turns out that a bird eats 500 grams of meat a day, but before the hunt it is not fed for several days. A bird must get very hungry, otherwise it will not want to hunt," said Aldebergen. Competitions will start tomorrow and will continue for three days. The whole family helps Aldebergen and his son get ready for the trip, and his little grandson also tries to take an active part in the process. Necessary things and accessories for the Golden Eagles were packed into the car. The car left the house. Two Golden Eagles and one Falcon, together with their masters, headed for the city. Flags and anthems, speeches by the top figures of the city and the region a speech from the facilitators, and the draw. Competitions are divided into two stages. The Sayatshi's skills in interacting with his bird, giving it signals, and catching of prey. We were surprised by a large number of participants, in small hunting suits trimmed with fur. When the competition began, we got excited and enthusiastically watched and worried about the performance of our friends, the Golden Eagles. Several hunters left the race at the first stage, as their golden eagles could not see the target. The second stage is the hunt. At the command, a fox skin is dragged on a rope, and the bird must quickly and deftly catch it. The winner is the eagle who best coped with this task. Aldebergen was pleased with the performance of his golden eagles. This time they did not take a prize, but they performed very well. Taking the opportunity to talk with the Berkutshis, we asked them one question. Are young people interested in hunting with birds of prey, and do they have any successors? Virtually all of them answered yes to our question. In almost every family, there are followers who learn all of the skills of experienced Berkutshis. And now not only the residents of the village are interested in this national art, but also urban residents take a great interest in this. After the end of the competition, we managed to find out a lot of information. 
We were also interested in knowing whether the state supports hunting with golden eagles, because without strong state support, it would not be easy to popularize this ancient type of hunting art. To do this, we met with Baghdad Muptikir Kazi, who is the executive director of Kairan Berkutshi Federation. She told us that this national tradition is actively supported by the state. Therefore, birds of prey festivals and competitions have begun taking place quite often. At the moment, there are about 20 schools in the Republic, but soon more will be opened. In the 1990s, only 18 Birkuts were left in Kazakhstan. Now, every year, more than 100 of them take part in competitions like this. A document is issued for each bird, the so-called passport, in which the bird's name, age, owner, and other information are indicated. When we learned about the only nursery in Kazakhstan called Sunkar, where they breed golden eagles, we went there immediately. The nursery has been breeding and preserving the feathered predators for more than 25 years. It presents all species of rare endangered species of birds of prey inhabiting the territory of Kazakhstan. The nursery created all the necessary conditions for them. And now, all of those who wish to professionally hunt with birds of prey can find young golden eagles at the nursery. We asked Aldebergen if there are any birds in the wild, or are they so few that they are only bred now in nurseries? In response, he decided to show us the nest of a wild golden eagle. According to the hunters, they nest in places where there is food. A pair of golden eagles have several nests. Usually they build them using strong branches, while the thinner branches serve as an outer lining, and rods and moss as an inner litter. The hunting territory of a pair of golden eagles is very large, tens or even hundreds of square kilometers. Other eagles will not settle in an occupied area and will not violate its boundaries. A pair of golden eagles stay together for life. We followed Aldebergen and our journey was a long one. And then we finally arrived at a nest. As we came closer, we used all precautions. Unfortunately, the nest was so far empty, but we could see a golden eagle flying in the blue sky majestically hovering in the ascending currents of the warm air. Modern city dwellers miss the starry skies that can be seen from an open shanarak and the fresh steppe wind. Perhaps, therefore, the descendants of nomads so protect this symbol of the steppe life. Hunting with birds of prey is not only preserved, but it is also successfully developed. The predators are proud and beautiful. His beauty and power never fade. The people tame him and train him to hunt. The golden eagle is beautiful up close. The golden eagle is the king of all the birds in the world. We were able to find out that this is one of the treasures of Jetikazina, hunting with a golden eagle. This tradition is alive and will continue to be passed down from generation to generation. Let the golden eagle always soar freely in the azure skies, above the boundless steppe expanses. <laughs> 